Okay, so I am back with another Digimon video. Um, actually, this is going to be about six Digimon videos that I'm going to be doing. Um, these are not going to be nearly as in-depth as like the character discussion videos that I did for all the Digi destined for Digimon Adventures and Digimon Adventures 2.0 and such. It's not going to be quite that in-depth. Um, so, uh, this is mostly going to be going over different types of Digi Armor evolutions. So, um, within Digimon and Digimon Adventures 2.0, the second season, uh, Davis and his group, so Yoli, Cody, Ken, TK, and Kari, all end up having Digi Armor eggs. So, there are these, you know, eggs that they found that all are representations of one of the different crests that the older kids all had, or in the case of TK and Kari, a crest that they themselves had. And then later on we find out that Ken had a crest as well, and his was a crest of kindness, uh, although within the actual content of like the, the, the animated series of the anime, um, Ken never actually gets a digi armor egg, which I find is a big jip on Ken's part, but I'll go over that more when I get to Wormmon um, down the line. Um, so, uh, these are just going to be some videos where I talk about some of the different alternate versions of the DigiArmor eggs. As in, when Vmon gets a hold of, like, the other Digi eggs, the other DigiArmor uh, eggs, and then one will be about, you know, Hawkmon, one will be about Armadillamon, you get the idea. For the, uh, for the six ones that can armor Digivolve. Um, I could do an entire series about, like, the other, like, just the other miscellaneous ones, and I'm just like, no, because I don't care about those Digimon. And, I mean, like, if they had something where it was like, oh, this is what happened if, like, like, Ty's generation, like, if they all got Digi-Armor eggs, like, if they had that, if they had, like, those types of things, then I would probably do that, but they don't have that. So, uh, I'm just going kind of what I found, um, on, uh, line in regards to, like, this is what happens if Vimon gets his hands on these other Digi-Eggs, uh, or if Davis got, Davis got his hands on these. So, there is actually a, a precursor for this, um, and I think I mentioned this in some of the, um, some of the character discussions, because they did have, I think it was an audio drama that they had with, it was just the Japanese voice actor audio drama where, uh, there's like an incident in the real world where like the, you know, the Digi Destin get attacked and like somehow like Davis's group were all there and like their D terminals that have their Digi eggs and them get like mixed up. So like Davis gets a hold of someone else's and like vice versa, you know, someone gets Davis's, you know, they don't have their own one and they activate the Digi armor. And so it's like, I don't remember exactly what it was in the context of the actual audio drama, but, like, Vimon armor digivolves using, like, not courage or not friendship, but, like, I don't remember which one it was, like, I don't know, reliability or whatever. And, like, so it was just, like, this random mixture of stuff, and so it was just, like, showing that, like, they are compatible with the other digi eggs, it's just that courage and friendship are the two that most relate to Davis, love and sincerity are the two that most relate to Yo Lee. Cody has knowledge and reliability, of course. And then, you know, TK and Kari with, you know, hope and light, and then Ken with kindness. And, and that incident is when it's like, oh, this is when, like, Ken finally, I think, gets his Digi Armor egg. Um, so, basically what we see happen is, you know, they get, like, these alternate you know, digivolutions. So I was just kind of going to go through and like be like, okay, so this is what happens if like Davis got his hands on these other ones. So, and then like I'll do the same thing with the other Digi Destin from his group. So, uh, starting off with Vimon, obviously. Uh, Vimon, uh, when he of course gets the Digi Egg of Courage, he of course turns into a uh, Flame Dramon. You know, that's the, the big one, the first one that we see in the series. Um, and you actually kind of see like a running theme with some of these because like Flame Dramon, is you know, a fire type one. He's got fire abilities. And, you know, the fire, the courage, is partially based off of Ty. And, of course, Ty is, you know, Ty and Argamon have a lot of, like, fiery attacks, kind of a lot of dragon attacks as well. Um, but Flame Ramon kind of more goes toward the fire side of that stuff. And then um, down the line, when we see other, you know, the other ones get a hold of the fire, of, of the Digi Egg of Courage, um, there is still, like, a fire motif that goes with them, and on down the line with, like, the different digi eggs, digi armor eggs, based around, you know, the crest that they initially came from that's kind of attached to the original, you know, digi Destin and their Digimon. So, you know, I've got Courage back here, and then I've got, like, Knowledge over here, so that one was Izzy's. Um, and I'll get to what, uh, you know, Flame Vermont, what a uh, V-Mon looks like with that one, but they all kind of have, like, a bug motif, because, you know, in, you know, Tentamon is a bug, di bug Digimon. Um, 
you know, so there's that there. Um, and then, of course, you know, when Vimon get, you know, when Davis uses, you know, the Digiag friendship, that's, of course, where we get Raidramon from. And that's, of course, you know, lightning powers, electric all over the place and everything. And, you know, now he can ride him, you know, ride him like a horse, which is just, you know, fun and everything. Um, and, you know, so it's like the, the motif kind of sticks with them as they kind of go because, you know, um, uh, I was going to say Garudamon. That's wrong. That's the one I'm wearing. Um, well, this is um, Phoenix Mon, but you get the idea at source. But um, in regards to, you know, Raidramon, friendship comes from Matt, which of course has, um, you know, you know, Garudamon, who has like these, you know, like electric type uh, attacks for the most part. Um, so, you know, there's that kind of that, as I said, the motif carries down. Um, and then we have, uh, <laughs> uh, Vimon when it comes to the Digi Egg of Love. Now we get a little bit of an alternate thing here. So this is the first one that's not really, um, I mean, I think within like, cause there's like Digimon card games and there's like Digimon, uh, video games and everything. And, you know, so these might pop up in the video games as well. But for love, when Vimon uses the Digi Armor of Love to evolve, uh, he turns into, I believe it's called Sethmon. S-E-H, or S-E-T-H-M-O-N. Um, and, you know, this is a bit different than we see. The head crest is kind of similar to what Hulsamon has. Um, but the rest of it is like a little bit off, but it still kind of has like a, looks a little bit more like a, uh, still a dragon-esque feel. Um, sometimes part of like what the Digimon originally is like with Flame Dramon and Ray Dramon, you can still see kind of like the F essence of like Vimon underneath it, like the blue skin or some of the references are still there. This one, you know, not as much, but sometimes there's like, oh yeah, you can definitely tell what Digimon that came from. And other times it's just like, I have no idea what that one came from. <laughs> Uh, so we have Sethmon here, um, not really a whole lot that I know about the Digimon, so moving on. Uh, then we have the Digi-Egg of Sincerity, when mixed with Vimon, we get uh, Yasamon, uh, which, you know, has taken on more of this, you know, Japanese motif. And with um, Yoli, of course, we saw that, like, Hawkmon turns into Shurimon, so that's like this um, very you know, Shuri ninja stars and everything like that. This one's kind of taken on a little bit more of, I think it's like a bit more of like a kendo fighter related thing um, with, you know, the kendo swords and everything. But you still see like the bluish skin underneath it. So there's still a reference there to like Vimon, but there's not always that there. But I do still kind of like the design. I kind of wish that they had done something a little bit more with that in the anime. Um, I know that there's going to be a, like another Digimon movie that's coming out soon that I think is supposed to, uh, you know, focus more on, like, Davis and his group, as opposed to the whole problem that I had with um, Digimon Adventures Try, where they're barely mentioned, let alone, like, the others even seem to care that they're not even there, and then, you know, they are there in Digimon, you know, The Last Evolution, and then, you know, now I think they're going to be getting a new one, um, which, you know, at whatever point that comes through, I'll be doing that, and I just realized I did not turn my light on in the background, so there we go, light on. Um... But uh, what we see is, you know, I would like it if they, like, throw in some reference to that. Like, their D-terminals get mixed up and, like, whatever. If, like, Ken finally gets his Digi-Egg. I don't know. Um, but, uh, so, you know, we have uh, Sincerity for uh, Yasumon for Vimon. And then we also have uh, for Knowledge. And all of the Knowledge ones, as I say, kind of have, like, an insect motif. And in this one, we kind of have... Honey Beemon for Vimon, uh, which is still kind of adorable. I like Honey Beemon. My main reference for Honey Beemon is that they pop up in um, Digimon Frontier at one point in time. They kind of become like Zoe's friends in Digimon Frontier. And yes, um, I will end up getting around to doing the Digimon Tamers season at some point and the Digimon Frontier season uh, discussions for all of those Digidestins at some point. But I'm kind of focusing on trying to get through all the Pixar movies first and then I can start maybe doing a little bit more else. Um, but yeah, we got Honey Beemon, who is kind of adorable. I do like Honey Beemon's design and everything. And, you know, a bit of a different take on, like, what Beemon can turn into. But, you know, Davis can be smart at times. <laughs> can be. Um, then we get into uh, the Digi Egg of Reliability, which is, of course, Cody's uh, current Cody's digi digital egg based off of the crest of, uh, you know, reliability that Joe had. So these ones all have like a water motif. So this one is called Depth Mon. And it's basically like an underwater Digimon, which is, you know, the, the theme that follows with that. 
Um, so I do like this design. Again, I would have really liked if they could find a way to like bring these into the series, but I don't expect that to happen. Um, but these are more available in like, as I said, card games or the video games. Um, but, you know, it would have been interesting to see, like, the different Digi Destin, like, have to learn how to, like, deal with, like, a Digimon in, like, a different form for, like, Davis's group. Like, oh, now, okay, so Vimon can go underwater now. Okay, I, I, I guess that's interesting. I don't know how I'm going to work with that. Because, um, like, with Submarimon, Cody can ride inside of him. With this one, it doesn't look like Davis would be able to fit inside, uh, you know, be able to, like, ride with it underwater. Uh, but still kind of interesting. Uh, and then we have with the Digi Egg of Hope, and we know we know way how much we, you know Davis has always been very very jealous of, you know the the relationship that TK and Kari have with each other. You know how he's always just like, why does she like TK so much? You know, and it's just like him being very jealous of TK. And of course, the Digi Egg of Hope would turn uh, Vimon into a uh, Sagittarius mod. So it's like Sagittarius. It's not like you know the hunter, the bow and arrow, and everything. Uh, it kind of looks like a centaur. Um, <laughs> there's already a centaur mod, but this is a different one. Um, this one, I do believe, makes an appearance. I think Centaurimon makes an appearance in Digimon uh, Frontier as well as just like another Digimon that the that the Digi Destin have to deal with. Um, but it's not like a major character. He's there, but it's nothing major. Um, again, it, you know, this is a very much more different design. Still kind of has like an electric looking horn, kind of like what, like, like, uh, you know, Raidramon had, but not quite as, um, uh, not quite as, uh, you know, prominent on this one. Uh, it's more like clearly, um, much more designed for running, which of course, you know, Pegasus Mon is like a horse type Digimon. And one of the, one of the complaints that Davis always had about his Digimon was that, um, uh, or not that he didn't still love Vmon or anything, but it's just like, None of Vimon's forms can fly because, like, Flangermon can't really fly and carry Davis at the same drama same time, and Raidramon can't really fly and or swim. So with the other ones, it's like, oh, their Digimon can fly uh, in some form or another, but ours can't until he gets to um, uh, X Vimon, and then he can fly because he has wings. But there's a bit of a different, you know, it takes a little while before they get to that, but he has an issue with that. So this one is just like, so you can run still, run pretty fast still. Yeah, still can't fly. Nope. Give him Honey Beamon, he can fly then. I don't know if Davis can like ride on him, but he can fly. Um, but you know, so we get that moment. And then we move on to uh, definitely one that Davis wouldn't mind having because it would connect him to Kari is uh, the Digi Egg of Light. And uh, that would involve Beamon turning into what is called Gargoyle Mon. <sighs> now, uh, I will put this one in regards to like the, the Digi Egg of Light Digimon. They do sometimes, they do tend to have a bit more of a uh, angelic feel about them. And like gargoyles to a degree aren't always associated with um, like a good part of religion. But like there's gargoyles all over Notre Dame. There's lots of churches all over the world that have gargoyles all over them. You know, they used to be, of course, all over medieval castles. Um, and they were meant to be like these guard guardians that were to like scare off people that were coming to like either you know attack the place or in the you know case of like churches like scare sinners and everything and gargoyle mon here i do like the motif it's got like so got like the angel wings and it's got like the white and the palatable more palatable colors and like the really dark colors but i still like the design for it um I don't guess, you know, like Davis would have loved like getting to, you know, to have Kari's digi egg for a little while. He probably would have really liked that. Um, but yeah, I still I, I like this design. Um it's it's pretty good. Um and then we have uh in regards to the digi egg of kindness, which uh in the context of the series, if they had brought it in would have been Ken's Digi Armor egg. Um Vimon Digivolving of the Digi Egg of Kindness would turn him into Kangaroo Mon. I love kangaroo mine. It's adorable. It's a kangaroo. I love kangaroos. They're fun and it can box. Um, it's just, it's, it, you know, it's just one of the things. It was like, yeah, it's cute. I like it. Um, you know, kangaroo mine. Um, you know, I didn't really look up too much of like the, you know, the Digidex uh, entries, uh, Digi-Info entries on these things, but I just kind of like wanted to go over them, like what I thought they were themselves. And these are just supposed to be like shorter type videos, and I haven't done Digimon videos for a while, and I had wanted to do these anyway um, a while ago when I was doing the other Digimon discussion series, but I, you know, just like I didn't get around to it, and I'm just like, 
uh, we'll do these now. Um, so we have a kangaroo mon, which is adorable. And then we have the two golden digi eggs. Now, Vmon is one of the only ones that actually has a form for both of the golden digi eggs. So the first one, of course, that we are familiar with in the series is, of course, the digi egg of miracles that Davis gets his hands on, and he turns into Magnamon. Uh, I really like Magnamon. I love the design. I love the golden armor. You know, there's the whole fight in the series uh, in, like, the, the last two-ish episodes that involve um, Ken being the Digimon Emperor when they're, like, when he's defeating Chimeramon and everything, and the whole sacrifice with Wormon and everything, that always still gets me every time. Um, what can I say? I'm an, I'm an emotional person. I can get emotionally attached to fictional characters. Um, what can I say? And uh, what happens is, of course, um, you know, that Digi Egg kind of pops up again later in the uh, the Digimon movie with Willis. Um, you know, and he turns into Magnamon again there. Um, but I do, you know, I like Magnamon's design. As I said, the golden armor is always really nice. Um, and then the other one with the Digi Egg of Destiny, which in the movie is the one that Willis gets. Um, and I'm going to have a slight caveat here for Willis in a second for Terriermon. But, um... We have um, Golden or Gold Vidramon is what he turns into. Now, uh, Vidramon is a, another alternate version of uh, Vimon if he can digivolve, just regular digivolve. He's just another branch evolution, kind of like I think it's like X Vimon is one of them. And then uh, Vidramon is a different line. And they're just like, take the gold and make it blue, is basically what that one would look like. So this one is just gold Vidramon instead. Um, again, don't really know that much about the Digimon, but, you know, the design would have been interesting to see, but it doesn't look as, like, armor-heavy. You know, it's still, like, an armor Digimon, but it's not quite the same. And then, because I looked to see if, like, if there was, like, a whole bunch of alternate versions of, like, Terriermon with all the other Digi eggs, there's not, unfortunately. So I'll just throw Terriermon in here, because, uh, uh, Terriermon, of course, in the movie gets the Digi egg of Destiny, and uh, turns into uh, Raidramon, or Rapid, or sorry, Raidramon Golden Mode, uh, Golden Form. And I do really like that one as well. It's a nice touch for the character. Um, you know, and in uh, Digimon, uh, Digimon Tamers, uh, we do see the regular green version of uh, Raidramon. Uh, sorry, uh, not Raidramon, Rapidmon. How did I say Raidramon? Rapidmon. Sorry, Rapidmon. Um, so wrap them on gold mode, but, um, so we do see that in the series, but it's not as, um, you know, it's a different version of it. Um, but you know, so I like what they did. I wish that they had put these a little bit more into the series in regards to like showing the other Digimon with these Digi eggs. I also thought it would have been hilarious if they had been able to fit in, um, like Ty's group getting a hold of the Digi eggs at some point and like you know, I don't know, Agumon armor digivolving into something would have been interesting. Um, I don't know if that's quite a mechanic in the, uh, in the games, um, but I, because um, one of the reasons that they specifically state in, in the Digimon series itself that, like, Davis and his group hit their Digimon specifically have the ability to armor digivolve is um, when they're having the conversation with the Zulongmon, um, he explains that because of what was going on with Ken and the uh, the the uh, the control spires and the dark rings and the dark digivice, that that was affecting the other Digimon's ability to digivolve. And of course, that's explained in the series anyway, way at the beginning of the season. And what happens is, you know, Azulongmon was like, well, we needed new Digimon. We had these uh, Digimon that had been like, quote unquote, asleep for a long time. That would be Vimon, Hawkmon, and Armadillomon that were asleep for a long period of time. And... Um, they were, you know, they had to find the Digi Dustin that would connect with them, and that was, you know, Davis, Yoli, and Cody. And then they were brought to the digital world and awakened, and these Digimon had the ability to armor Digivolve. And then it's also revealed that, you know, um, Gautamon and Patamon also have the ability to armor, dig armor Digivolve in that same vein. Um, there's also a connection between uh, Gautamon's tail ring and um, the others um, being able to DNA Digivolve. Um, but I don't remember how much... That's not really referenced all that much in the series. It's just kind of like a throw throwaway line from Gen I at like in like the last episode. Like, oh yeah, here's your tail ring back. It's how they were able to ar uh, DNA Digivolve. But yeah. Um, and then as I said, I wish that they had been able to give Ken his uh, Digi armor in the series. That would have been nice. Um, but uh, that's what I have for this, uh, this first video. There's going to be about six of these. 
um, one for each of the uh, Digimon that can do uh, major armor digivolution. So um, that's what I have. I thank you very much for watching. Much more of a shorter video, but I just wanted a couple of short videos that I could pop up at times. So hope you have a nice rest of your day. These ones don't have any end quotes. I'm just like, I do not want to find a quote again for Digimon because those were so hard to find sometimes. But yeah, so bye. Have a nice day.